I got these books in the post today. Um, these are just three I got on eBay um, as a job lot. I think I paid like £6.50 for them, which a little bit more than I would pay in charity shops, but um, you know, I'm, I'm glad to have these to add to my collection because these are three Alan Bennett books. So we have Keeping On, Keeping On, Writing Home in this Favour and Favour edition, and Untold Stories. So uh, I'm quite excited because I've, I've really enjoyed um, all of the all of the Bennett that I've read so far. And so again, these can just go onto my list to eventually read because I want to read all of his stuff. I've had two books in the post. The first one here is uh, Baptism of Fire by Andre Shemkowski. So this is just so I can carry on reading the Witcher series. I'm in no immediate rush to get to it, but I'll probably get to it in the next month or so. Um, probably before the end of the year anyway. And I also got this bad boy, which I'm going to hopefully get to next. And this is Local Haunts, a horror tube anthology edited by Regina St. Clair. So I'm um, very excited to finally be reading this one. Because I have a story in it, but so do loads of other awesome booktubers. Yes. Yes. Hello, people of the internet. I've got two books that came in the post today. I'm still waiting for my proof copy of Meat. And we're cutting it fine, because... Supposed to have it launched by the end of the month. And I also realised I forgot to get the interior layout for the Kindle version done. So I need to find someone to do that really quickly. But anyway, here we have Something Happened by Joseph Heller, the author of Catch-22. Um, I read a sample of this as part of the Penguin um, mini modern classics collection and really enjoyed it. So I'm looking forward to reading the full thing, although I didn't realise it was this massive. Um... But the bit that I read and enjoyed was like 5 out of 5, so that's a good good sign. And then here we have Creative Blindness and How to Cure It by Dave Trott. Um, and Dave Trott's just this really interesting... He's like, he like works in advertising and stuff. Um, this will make for a really interesting review, so I'll probably review and um, share my thoughts on this one soon. Looking forward to getting to it. I also got this in the post, uh, which is Graham Greene, The Living Room, and it's a play. And I'm just slowly working through all of Graham Greene's works, and um, this is one that I hadn't got to. So I'm looking forward to reading this soon, although it smells. Bloody hell, that does smell. Whoa. Hello, a cool little thing that I want to show you, or a few cool little things. My homeboy, Calculator, who's an artist um, here in High Wycombe, he gave me... Well, this one is for our office at the Art Centre, so that's going to go there. This one was a little free one he gave to me, just says mixtape. Very cool. And then, most importantly of all, he made this for me, which, as you can see, it says, I love you, Biggie. I'm trying to get a good thing of, the good thing of lighting. Let's try it like this. There we go. So, this is going to probably go up there by my... Um, a bit like that, almost. Well, let's see, actually. So I'm probably going to have it there, so that it's there in the background when I'm doing my vlogs and stuff. Because it's cool. And then I also film from this angle sometimes, which maybe won't work as well. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see where I feel like putting it. Hello people of Booktube! I got a thing in the post, and it is this! William Shakespeare's The Empire Striketh Back by Ian Dersher, Star Wars Part the Fifth. Let's find the uh, the good old iconic scene. I'm trying to find the Luke, where's my Luke, I am your father bit. Oh, here we go. So Luke says, oh, he hath spoken much, and he hath told me of the truth, that that thou did slay him, I. And without cause or mercy, murderer, most vile and wretched, no, I am thy father. Nay, it is not true. It is impossible. Pray search thy feelings, Luke. Thou knowest it is true. Nay. And we've got these beautiful illustrations here. So I'm looking forward to reading this book, bad boy. Alrighty, Roo. When I was in Tamworth visiting my mum, I got a bunch of books. So I'm going to show you. Actually, I'm going to start off with these two, which were sent to me very kindly by Isabel Kenyon of Fly on the Wall Press. So we have Vertigo to Go by uh, Brendan Booth Jones and Gray J. Wall, The Sound of Revolution, Beat Poems and Anxious Gasps. This is lovely. He's a poet, lomographer and songwriter. Um, really beautiful edition. I like this. 
So I'm going to be doing um, reviews of both of these, but I might also see if Susie wants to read them and pick a few out that she might want to read maybe. We will see. Um, so I'm very excited about those. Thank you, Isabel. And then we have all the stuff I got from the charity shops. So I have a whole bunch of these, as you'll come to see. These are uh, Agatha Christie Crime Club, Edi Crime Club Editions. These go for about eight to 10 pounds on eBay, and I paid one pound 50 from, for them each at uh, Cancer Research. Let's see if I can take these labels off. So uh, yeah, I bought these specifically to resell them. I have actually read them all. So this is uh, The 13 Problems by Agatha Christie. We have here The Murder at the Vicarage by Agatha Christie. And also we have uh, The Body in the Library by Agatha Christie. So I'm going to have to sit here and pick these labels off at some point. That's fun. Well, so we got uh, Tony Hawk's A Piano in the Pyrenees. Always enjoyed Tony Hawk's and his books are all on my wish list. Uh, Non-fiction. Uh, it's the ups and downs of an Englishman in the French mountains. And then we have Tom Kank's Uncommon Type as well. Picked this up just because I know a lot of people were talking about it. I'd be interested to see whether Tom Hanks can actually write. So we've got those, Crow by Ted Hughes, and here we have Switch Bitch by Roald Dahl, some of his adult fiction. Righto, I have some more stuff. Let's see. Screw it, I'm in shot enough. I'm not in shot enough. All right, I've got some more stuff to talk to you guys about. Um, Douglas Adams, The Salmon of Doubt, with a foreword by Stephen Fry. Uh, Buried a lot. Oh, sorry, I don't know where I got that from. Unburied Carol by Josh Malaman. Uh, a little as all arrow words puzzle book, because I like doing these. These are fun. And they're great for my anxiety, actually, as well. Santa is Coming to Tamworth, written by Steve St uh, Smallman. It's very little cute, because uh, Tamworth is the town that I grew up in. And here we have Frightful Flight. It's a horrible science book by Nick Arnold and Tony DeSauls. And this is the Royal Air Force Museum edition of it as well. Because I went to the Royal Air Force Museum in Cosford. It was very cool. Here we have If Cats Disappeared from the World by Genki Kawamura. Um, heard a lot of good things about this one. Japanese. So that leaves us with The Outsider by Albert Camus. Uh, I'm really looking forward to reading this. Um, I find Camus quite interesting as a person as well. Then we have Be Green by Monica Sheehan. Don't be blue, be green. How to help save our planet. Very cute little book on being more sustainable. And then I've got here, 15 minute French, learning just 12 weeks. Um, obviously I'm already learning French, but like there's some good stuff I can learn here. Like I just flicked in Le Colis, that means parcel, which I didn't know. Vous avez une identification? That's, do you have any identification? La bijouterie, the jeweler. Um, and then these are all my gifts for other people. So for Fran, uh, who is, I guess, sort of my boss-ish at the art center, she's had a baby recently. So I've got Mr. Bump by Roger Hargreaves, because that used to be one of my favorite books as a kid. We have more Crime Club editions here. Agatha Christie, 450 from Paddington. This is for Susie. I got her How Philosophy Works, The Concepts Visually Explained, uh, this DK book. I think she'll really enjoy because she is fascinated by philosophy and I've been learning from her. Uh, Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. Again, this is for Fran's baby. And so is this, The Night Before Christmas, performed by Peter, Paul and Mary, written by Clement C. Moore. So uh, it's the classic Clement Clark Moore, um, Night Before Christmas story, but then with music by P Peter, Paul and Mary, who are um, like a f quite a well-known old school folk group. And then just a few more of these Christies to close off with. We have Agatha Christie, The Mirror Crack from Side to Side. Another copy of The Murder at the Vicarage here. And The Moving Finger. So those are all the books I brought with me from Tamworth. Okay, so today I got this in the post, which is this massive thing of books. I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it. I think about 20 quid. And uh, it's a load of old sci-fi books. Mainly I'm here for the Asimov, but there's some other stuff in here as well. And as before, whatever I don't keep to read myself, I will just be selling on in my eBay store, which is linked to below. So we have... Children of June by Frank Herbert. Uh, Doctor Who and the Planet of the Daleks by Terence Dix. Anne McCaffrey, Pern, the White Dragon. So this one's a key pair. Isaac Asimov, The Currents of Space. Uh, a Star Trek novel, Spock Must Die by James Blish. Another Star Trek one, Star Trek Deep, Deep Space Nine, Day of Honor, Armageddon Sky by L.A. Graff. Here we have uh, June by Frank Herbert. 
Uh, Diane Carey, Day of Honor, Ancient Blood, another Star Trek one. M. John Harrison, Light. A. E. Van Vogt, The World of Null A. <laughs> oh, uh, it was Blake, Blake Seven, Nation by uh, Trevor Hoyle. Dune Messiah by Frank Herbert. A. E. Van Vogt and A. And e. Me and A. E. Van Vogt and E. Main Hull, The Winged Man. The City Who Fought by Anne McCaffrey and S. M. Sterling. The Winds of June by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. I'm going to keep that one because I do eventually want to get to the, the full June, including all of the ones by um, Brian Herbert as opposed to Frank Herbert. Apparently they're not as good, but I want to get to them anyway. Star Trek The Next Generation of Fury Scorned by... A Fury Scorned by Pamela Sargent and George Zabrowski. Robert A. Heinlein, Have a Spacesuit, Will Travel. Science Fiction in the Movies and A to Z by Roy Picard. Anthony Scher, Middle Post. Peter F. Hamilton, A Second Chance at Eden. Helix by Eric Brown. Damia by Anne McCaffrey. Arthur C. Clarke and Gentry Lee, a Rama Revealed. Arthur C. Clarke, Report on Planet 3 and Other Speculations. And finally, Isaac Asimov, Extraterrestrial Civilizations, which is another one on my keep list. So only three on my keepsies list there. But again, uh, a lot of these books are like dead expensive to begin with. So um, I should be able to basically make my money back through selling the others. And eventually I'll have a little bit more added stock as well. So uh, that's the plan. Yo, fam. Uh, I got this in the post. And it is a bunch of Bill Bryson books. Oh God. <clears throat> so, I think I paid like three or four pounds for these three books. Um, so I got Notes from a Small Island, which is a cracking book. Mother Tongue, The Story of the English Language, uh, which I don't have, which I'm excited about. And A Short History of Nearly Everything, which I do have uh, already as well. So this is the one I'll be keeping. These two will be going on my eBay. Some more Bill Bryson. So i got At Home, which I can't remember whether I've read or not. Mother Tongue, which is one of the new ones that I've got. Shakespeare, which I don't have, which I'm very much looking forward to. Uh, Bill Bryson, The Complete Notes, so this is Notes from a Small Island and Notes from a Big Country, and I've read both of those. And then Bill Bryson, Down Under, and I've read that one as well. So yeah, good little haul today. Right, hello, um, I have got a book here that Susie gave to me. This is The Binding by Bridget Collins. Biggie's come along here, because I've got a slightly new filming setup going on, so he's come to explore. So if the tripod shakes, you know why. How many pages is, is uh, this bad boy? Oh, it's not too long, 440. Uh, looks like a decent um, print size. Well, that's interesting. So the author trained as an actor at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art after reading English at King's College, Cambridge. She's had a few plays performed and a few YA books. This is her first adult novel. So yes, I'll be reading this soon. Thank you, Susie. Hello, I have just one book that arrived in the post today. It is uh, Lives of the Stoics by Ryan Holiday and Stephanie Hanselman, The Art of Living from Zeno to Marcus Aurelius. I saw someone talk about this on BookTube, but unfortunately I can't remember who. Um, I've been getting increasingly into Stoicism or interested in, sto uh, in Stoicism, uh, partly because um, Susie's really like kind of got me into it as well, I suppose. But in general, I want to read a little more like philosophical stuff and find new ways that I could apply like the lessons to my own life. So I'm hoping there'll be some insights here I can use. Well, anyway, that's about all I got in the post. So as always, thanks a lot for joining me for this month's book haul. As, uh, don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.